Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We got a good show today. Uh, we're going to do a last-minute show <clears throat> on Floyd Diaz versus Max Ornalis. Uh, DraftKings took their odds down on this fight, so uh, we usually use DraftKings, but today we're going to use FanDuel. Still really like the odds, really like this fight, but before we get into that all, oh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest uh, boxing news and rumors. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight to give you the odds, show you how to bring down the house. We don't gamble, uh, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and make money on it. Um, the odds makers, the book, uh, the, the bookkeepers don't know what they're doing uh, with boxing, and, and you can really make it a second source of income, and that's what we're looking to do here. Let's get and also please uh, follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Let's uh, let's get to today's show. Um, and Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, Floyd Diaz, cash flow. If y'all follow Floyd Mayweather, he was that little kid who was five, six years old, hitting the mitts real quick with, with, with Roger. Uh, he's 20 years old now, believe it or not. Uh, he's a professional. He's 9-0. and oh. He's taking the biggest step up of his career. I like a lot of Floyd Diaz. You can tell he grew up in the sport. You can tell he was born to do this. Uh, he can do a little bit of everything. Um, he's got really good timing. He can he can he can lead. He can counter. His counter hooks are good. He's got a really good jab. Doesn't use it enough though. He's got all the slick stuff you might like. Um, he's he's good. He's really 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 skilled. Um, th th there's no question about it. He's quick. He's not the quickest. He's not the biggest hitter. He's about five five. So he's a little bit undersized. Although I guess that's not really too short for the division. Um, he doesn't have. Well, he doesn't have. Is what you can't teach. He, I, I don't think he has the most natural ability. Like I said, he's not the biggest. He's not the strongest. He's not the biggest. He doesn't have five-star natural ability. He's got five-star skills. Um, but that takes time to, to, to develop and, 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 you know, resonate a little bit. My concern is that Max Ornalis is too much of a step up. Um, when you look at Floyd Diaz's career, and it's no shade – on Floyd Diaz. I, I, I think he's a good prospect. Um, I saw him beat uh, my boy um, in his, I think his first or second fight, Jaime Hasso, <laughs> um, who I think highly of. Um, he beat him in, 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 in a 40 to 36 type decision in a fight that was kind of competitive. Uh, he got a win over Blake Quintana. Um, but these are the kind of guys he's beaten. He hasn't been given lollipops, but these aren't guys who are, who are well tested. The most experienced guy he fought in his last fight um, was, was Luis Saavedra. Um, he's gotten the distance with these guys. You know, he's gotten the distance in, in two of his last three fights. He's only fought eight rounds once. Uh, his Max Ornalis fight is also an eight rounder. I wish it was 10. I think it should be 10. Ornalis has a 15 one one mark. Um, the, I want to, the um, draw was back in 2017. It was a technical decision, a technical draw um, against Leopoldo Martinez after the second round. Leopoldo Martinez is a kid from Laredo who I know quite well. Um, there was an accidental headbutt, and we went to the cards. Oh, we couldn't go to the cards, um, so it was declared a draw. Uh, he has wins over guys like Juan Antonio Lopez. Uh, he has wins over guys like Alex Rangel. He, he, and, and his most recently, he fought, it was a year ago already, against Hector Valdez. Uh, Hector Valdez, he fought. I don't know what's going on with Hector Valdez, but it was a split decision. Um, it was 97-93, uh, 2-1 in favor of Valdez. A lot of people, I thought it was close. I thought it was competitive. A lot of people had it as their robbery of the year. I didn't see it like that. Most people are going to think that Arnalis won. Arnalis is a hard guy to win rounds with. They gave round, they scored rounds for Valdez off of his aggression. Um, but like Floyd Diaz, it can do a lot. Like I said, I'm not trying to contradict that. But at his heart, at his core, he's a counterpuncher. How do you beat a counterpuncher by throwing in volume? 
what does he do? Right? He throws in threes and fours. If you throw ones and twos, you can counter that. If you throw threes and fours, you keep them too busy, you keep them too occupied. I really like Arnaus in this fight. Uh, I think Arnaus is a really good prospect. He came up back in the day um, with uh, Roy Jones Jr. Promotions. They really liked him. He fought in Vegas quite a few times, and there was a you know pandemic. He was out of the ring for about two years. He finally got back in the ring in Mexico, got one win, got two win. He's not a puncher. He's a slickster. He's a mover. He fights off the back foot. He's a lot longer. Uh He's about four inches taller, and uh, he's a lot longer than Floyd Diaz. I think he can use that to his advantage. I, I know that top rank loves um, Floyd Diaz. The odds makers are going to love him. I really think this is an upset in the making. I, I think stylistically, and as far as experience goes, you know, Hector Valdez is a top-notch prospect that most people thought Arnalis won. Um, most people w- would pick Valdez to beat Floyd Diaz at this stage. Floyd Diaz is just 20 years old. Um, you know, Max Arnalis turned pro all the way back in 2016. So he's been pro for seven years. Yes, there's been some layoffs. Um, he, he kind of built some of his wins up in Mexico. Uh, but this is a real guy. This is a real prospect. Uh, like I said, he came up with Roy Jones Jr. Promotions. Um, he came up, so, so did Eddie Vasquez. He came up at the same time. And he, he's he got the goods. You know, he... he the winner takes a major step forward, and I kind of think based on the level, the lack of experience in Floyd Diaz and the lack of world-class kind of five-star natural ability, because Floyd Diaz has everything you can teach. What he doesn't have is experience, and what he, and what he doesn't have is a stunning natural ability. Right? He's not a jaw-dropping athlete. Um, he's not, not a big hitter. And he doesn't really have any experience of note. So I just think this is a little step too far. You know, if they had this fight two years from now, probably a different story, but they're not. They're having it today. I think it's a bad look for Floyd Diaz. If Floyd Diaz wins this fight, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. But let's get into the odds. Uh, I want to share the odds with you. Uh, Again, uh, DraftKings took him down. This is a last minute thing. So I went to FanDuel. And of course, FanDuel is doing this to me. Why, why, Why does. There we go. Uh, simple bet. Um, there's, there's no props on the bet. I just want to. Uh, I, I, I hate every website except for DraftKings. I really do. I hate every single website except for DraftKings. So they're paying plus 164 for Arnalis. So Arnalis is a, is a pretty sizable underdog. It's paying almost two to one. And if you're asking me how this fight ends, I think there's two ways this fight ends. Floyd Diaz by decision or Max Arnalis by decision. If I had to bet one, I would take Arnalis by decision. Uh, we could. It is in Vegas where Floyd Diaz is from. So he's going to be fighting the judges too, right? He's top ranks pet. He's from Vegas. Max Arnalis is from Vegas too, but no one cares about Max Arnalis. Um, so, you know, I'm looking at this and I, I think Arnalis is just – too experienced, too skilled. He uses the ring. He doesn't fight in a way that 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 that, that fights into Floyd Diaz's hands. Although I think Floyd Diaz fights into his hands. Uh, I think this is a very close fight. I'm gonna go out on a limb and take Ornalis, uh because I like the odds. Um, it's paying almost two to one. If I bet on Floyd Diaz, it's minus two fifteen. So I'd have to bet two fifteen to win a hundred. I don't think that's worth it on a very close fight like this. So I'm taking Ornalis on the money line. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts. That didn't work. Let, let me let me let me pull this up for you guys. I I apologize for that. Let me let you guys take a look at that real quick. I had the wrong screen on. No one said anything. Here's the odds. Here's the bet. Uh, Max Arnell is paying one sixty four on the money line. Um, we're gonna see. This is gonna be a really really interesting high level highly skilled fight. Both guys are high level. Both guys are highly skilled. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please follow me on all forms of social media uh, at uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Remember, the boxing book, he does not bet, but he shows you how to make money on the sport consistently and bring down the house. Uh, also, please follow and subscribe to our other te- YouTube channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is November 16th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. 
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.